Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zenitin and welcome to today's video for Legends of Runeterra. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the first spoilers for the upcoming set, Emperors of the Ascended, the Shurima set for Legends of Runeterra. We also have a new keyword. We have a lot of cards to look at and we have a new keyword. So let's get right into it really quick. Okay, here we go. Uh, really quick, uh, the new keyword is called Countdown. Uh, countdown says at the start of the round, I count down one and at zero, destroy me and activate the countdown effect. Uh, if you've played Shadowverse, you will, uh, probably be like, wait, this is just countdown from Shadowverse. It is, but that's not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's, I'm not saying they're copying, even though it's kind of a copy, but. It's fine. All card games copy mechanics from each other. There's always something in like lifelink, death touch, flying, elusive, whatever. I like this mechanic. I was a big fan of Countdown back when I played Shadowverse, and I feel like Countdown can help out a lot of different types of decks. Uh, for now, though, we've only we only know of one Countdown card, the Buried Sun Disc, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. So for now, who knows? And as well, there's not really too much synergy with Countdown from the cards we've seen. Sure, there's a couple of cards here that have some synergy, but not anything that stands out to me like a crazy good synergy. Who knows? Maybe we'll get something like a uh, two mana card that says Countdown 2... Uh, and then when it gets destroyed, draw two cards or something. Maybe that will be like Sharima's draw mechanic, kind of similar to Deep Meditation, Glimpse Beyond, and Salvage. Perhaps. Anyway, though, as for the cards themselves, let's talk about the first one. The first one we got here is the Poro of Sharima, the Destined Poro. One mana, one, one. Round start. If you've leveled a champion, transform me into Exalted Poro. The Exalted Poro is a 1-mana 2-2, and it has three random keywords. I think this card is good. I don't know if you will actually play this card, but I think this card is good. It's probably one of the best, if not the best, Poro. The issue is it's still a 1-mana 1-1, in my opinion, and you need to, I don't know, quote-unquote level them up, flip it, transform it, whatever you want to call it, to actually make this a good card. And then you have to hope you get at least one good keyword. Something like, I don't know, elusive, challenger, um, maybe quick attack would be decent as well. But if there is, if more Poro synergy gets printed, maybe we'll see a Exalted Poro, a Sharima Freljord Exalted Poro deck show up. Obviously you would want to play a Freljord because you want Poro snacks. Still though, I think this card is good. I don't know what kind of champion you would play with this. Maybe Braum and something else. But you have to level up a champion and leveling up Braum is kind of tough. Who knows? Maybe the Sharima champions, we haven't seen them yet, but maybe the Sharima champions will be a little easier to level up. Uh, next up, we have the landmark for Sharima. We've got, and the uh, only countdown card we've seen for now, we have Buried... Sun Disc, a one mana landmark that says, there's a lot of text here. It says, start of the game, draw one of me if all your cards are Shuriman. Countdown 25, restore the Sun Disc. When an Ascended ally levels up, advance me 10 rounds. That's a lot. So I don't know how easy this is going to be to flip, basically, to restore the disc. But the Restored Sun Disc says, immediately draw one of all your Ascendants, and for the rest of the game, your level 2 Ascendants are level 3. I don't think we know what level 3 Ascendants are. We, I don't know if they're just a simple plus 1, plus 1 on top of what they are at level 2. Maybe they have a, another form. Who knows? I feel like this card is going to be very good, but it's going to rely on a lot of things. The first thing is, I think you will want to play this in Mono Shurima. I think if you're not Mono Shurima, you don't play this deck unless you have a really, 
really good reason to play something that's not in Shurima, because you really want that start of the game ability to go off. Because, one, starting the game with this on the field is just really good. Sure, you have to draw it, you draw it, and then you still have to play it, but it's only one mana. And two, it draws it out of your deck, so there is some deck thinning and a little bit of mathematical advantage goes to you by getting one card out of your deck. In a 40 card deck, it actually, the one card out of the deck actually means something in terms of percentages compared to maybe a 60 card or even an 80 card or whatever size deck other card games use. Uh, we've seen stuff like this from um, cards, card games like Hearthstone. Uh, when Patches the Pirate was in a card, uh, you would play Patches. He would come out of the deck. Now, granted, he was also a unit that had charge, so he was also played because of that, but it was still nice. You also played him because he also helped thin out the deck. Anyway, though, I'm rambling. The other, re the other problem I see with this is I feel like we're going to have to see just how good the Ascended stuff is. Right now, we don't see, we don't know any of the Ascended units. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they on like the level of Lulu or are they more of a TF or an Aphelios kind of uh, power level? And also, will there just be enough good cards to not go to another region, like to not go to Shadow Isles, to not go to Ionia, to whatever? I don't know. I think for the first set, the answer is no. I don't think there will be, but with more Sharima cards released, Maybe. Uh, the next card up we got is Esteemed Hierophant. He is a 3 mana 3-4. Three, Nothing too complex about this guy. 3 mana 3-4. Three, when he's summoned, advance the Sun Disk for two rounds. Nothing crazy. 3 mana 3-4 three, is okay. Um, Badger Bear, the 3 mana 3-4 three, vanilla 3-4 three, in Demacia. Sometimes sees play still. Not too often. There's just better things to do on 3. But you sometimes see it. So this card might get played, especially in Mono Shurima, where your card selection's a little limited. Next card is Devoted Council, 3 mana, 1, 6. Round start if you've leveled a champion, heal your champions and Nexus by 2. I think this card is good. I don't think this card is good in that it is a good card looking at all regions. I think this card is good because it's healing in Shurima, and if you want to do a Mono Shurima list, this card gives you healing without having to go to something like uh, Targon or whatever. So that helps out the Mono Shurima list, in my opinion. And then the next card we have is the Allegiance card. It's a really good one, too. Four mana, three, two. Golden Ambassador. Allegiance. Draw a champion. Give it plus two, plus two. It's written in stars on a stick, kind of. Now, granted, it doesn't give you the discount that written in stars gives, but it le but you get a three, two body as well instead. I think that's good. I think it's really good. And of course, like you get to get the champion and then you could you can use that champion to try and level up to get your level up synergies. For example, the council or maybe the sun disc and whatever. I like it. Uh, next card. I don't know about this card. Maybe as an aggro card. We got four mana, three, four voice of the risen. If you've leveled a champion. Allies have plus two, plus so. Oh. Reading the card, I assume this means they only have plus two, plus so oh while this card's on the field. So if you were, if your opponent removes this card, your allies will lose a plus two, plus so. Oh. And for a four drop, three, four is kind of mediocre in all honesty. Like that's a very mediocre stat line. Not terrible, but not great. But maybe in like an aggro deck, you play this on a field when you have a wide board and you use this to attack in. But comparing this to something like, I don't know, Battlecaster from Noxus, it kind of feels a little meh. But it's not terrible. Maybe if there's a Shurima aggro deck, you'll play this if you want to be in Mono Shurima as well. Who knows? And then we have our essential bad slow spell. We have Ascended's Rise. Uh, seven mana slow spell, level up all level one ascended allies. I don't know. I don't think we know if there's anything higher than level three. Maybe if you're at level three and you go to level four, you just get plus one, plus one. 
maybe there's a mechanic that says like these uh, ascended units have like five levels and you can keep leveling them up or something. We don't know. There's a lot we don't know. So it's really hard to actually evaluate these cards. Like I'm trying, you have to evaluate these in a vacuum, kind of, because a lot of these cards are dependent on other cards that we haven't seen yet. The Ascended specifically. And I feel like these kind of cards are going to be, uh, it's going to be a make or break uh, if these cards are playable, if the Ascended are good. I don't think anything else. Like I've seen some people say like, okay, let's go out of Shurima and go to other regions to get other champions that can level up quickly. So I've seen some people say like, what about Katarina? Katarina levels up quickly. She's one of the champions that levels up the fastest. Yes, you're not wrong, but then you're going outside of Shurima. Then you won't be able to do the Buried Sun Disc at the start. Sure, you can still play Buried Sun Disc, but it won't be at the start of the game unless you draw it, of course. And then you're also playing Katarina, and Katarina is just a bad card in general. And then there's like Lucian with Senna levels up quickly. Lulu, I think, levels up fairly fast. But all of these champions that level up fast that I'm thinking of, they're kind of bad. The champions that do level up fast that are good are what? Twisted Fate and Aphelios. So maybe a Twisted Fate, I don't know, Renekton or whatever champions will be shown off in Shurima will be a deck. Because Twisted Fate levels up really quickly. Usually it only takes him... I'd say maybe on like a decent uh, a decent TF player, a decent TF turn will take maybe uh, two turns to level up a TF. You can even level up TF in one turn, the turn after he was played as well, if you get lucky and you uh, your opponent doesn't have any way to interact with him. So maybe that will be the way you level up a champion quickly. Still, though, I like these cards. I'm a very big fan of this. I like the mechanic of having to level up a champion to do some extra stuff. I'm just worried that Sharima initially will not be good enough to play Mono Sharima. Everyone's going to try it. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people will try, myself included, because Buried Sun Disk Synergy is really good. And obviously, it's also going to depend on how good the Ascendants are and what exactly level 3 Ascendants do. But the Restored Sun Disk is pretty sweet. Immediately drawing one of all your Ascendants is good. If there are non-champion Ascendants, so you have even more Ascendants, or if it's just champions, it'll depend. Also, quick note. I was told, or not told, but it was pointed out to me that the Restored Sun Disk doesn't have the landmark tag on it. And because of the text on the sent second sentence of... Uh, for the rest of the game, your level 2 Ascendants are level 3. Some people were thinking this is an ongoing effect. So even if you destroy the Sun Disk, all of your Ascendants will still be level 3 if they were level 2 anyway. Because it's similar wording to how uh, level 2 Zoe works. And level 2 Zoe, even if she gets removed, her ability is still ongoing, even if she is dead and not on the field anymore. So maybe the Sun Disk, the Restored Sun Disk will work that way. Also, while Restored Sun Disk doesn't have a landmark tag on it, um, that doesn't mean it's not a landmark. The Targon Temple, four mana temple, I can't remember the actual name of it, at the moment doesn't have a landmark tag on it, even though it's a landmark. So maybe Sun Disk just doesn't have a landmark tag on it for some reason. But still, the, for the rest of the game, your level two Ascendants or level three does seem very similar to a leveled up Zoe. So who knows? We'll have to either wait for clarification from Riot themselves, or uh, we'll have to try it out in-game to see how it works. Still, though, I like this. Very nice start to the spoiler season. Good cards. I could see all of these cards being played except for Ascendant's Rise, because uh, Ascendant's Rise is just a bad card. But I could see the other cards all being played in some type of deck to varying degrees. Anyway, though, that's it. There's not much to talk about here. Um, it's all speculation. We're going to need to see more cards. We're going to need to see the Ascendeds. We're going to need to see what level three is before we can even judge these cards too much. But in a vacuum, they all seem really strong. And Sundisk seems kind of nuts if you can get it 
going. And if you're a Shurima deck, if Shurima has just enough cards to make a mono Shurima deck viable. Anyway, though, with that it, um, that all said and done. Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, maybe learned something or have any kind of uh, ideas as to uh, deck building for when the set comes out. Uh, I believe it comes out on March 3rd, so not that long from now. Can't wait for it. Anyway, though, like I said, thank you all again once more for watching the video. I hope to see you all again soon. If you guys enjoyed the video, I would love it if you could leave a like or a comment down below. I'd also love to hear, uh, I really like Countdown. I'd love to hear if you guys have any cool Countdown card ideas, like, I don't know, Countdown 3 and summon some unit or something. Sounds fun. Uh, but yeah, if you liked it, I'd love it if you could leave a like or a comment. If you guys want to watch me play some Legends of Runeterra as well, you can always catch me over at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Senatin. Anyway, though, I'm rambling now, so again, thank you all, and I hope to see you all in the next video. So until then, uh, bye! <laughs>